Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.10 solving differential equations. 11.10 represents chapter 11, section 10 of the personnel of Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Now over here, it says find the general solution to the differential equation dy by dx equal y tan x, giving your answer in the form y equal f of x. Firstly, why is this called a differential equation? Well, it has a dy by dx in the equation, hence it's called a differential equation. How do we solve a differential equation? We use the technique of separating the variables, putting the y's on one side and the x's on the other side. Ladies and gents, I'm going to be solving this differential equation using the method of separating the variables. I'll start off by writing the differential equation. So I have dy over dx is equal to y tan x. I can multiply both sides of the equation by dx to give me dy is equal to y tan x dx. I can then divide both sides of the equation by y to give me 1 over y dy is equal to tan x dx. The way I can get rid of the differentials on both sides of the equation is by integrating both sides. So integral of 1 over y dy is equal to integral of tan x dx. The integral of 1 over y dy is ln mod y plus d, where d is a constant of integration. This is equal to the integral of tan x dx, which is ln mod sec x plus e, where e is a constant of integration. Now, I can take this a step further and make ln mod y the subject, giving me ln mod y is equal ln mod sec x plus e minus d. Now, e minus d is a constant, I can call it c. So if I wanted to, I can go from this step straight to this step over here. So I'm going to write ln mod y is equal ln mod sec x plus c. I want my general solution in the form y equal f of x. So what I need to do next is apply e's on both sides, giving me e to the power ln mod y is equal e to the power ln mod sec x plus c. Now e and ln cancel, so I have mod y equal. This over here I can split into two parts using laws of indices, and the two parts are e to the power ln mod sec x e to the power c. I need to multiply because these two powers are added over here. I can take this a step further and cancel the e and ln. Mod of y is just y equal mod of sec x multiplied by e to the power c. The mod of sec x is just sec x, so I have y equal sec x multiplied by e to the power c. I can write this as y equal e to the power c sec x. Now e to the power c is a constant, I can just call it a if I wanted to. Giving me y equal a sec x. Therefore now I have the form y equal f of x. The general solution to the differential equation dy over dx equal y tan x is just y equal a sec x where a is equal e to the power c. I'm going to go through more examples on how to find the general solution to differential equations. Find the general solution to the following differential equations, giving your answer in the form y equal f of x. Question 1 and question 2. For both of these questions, we need to use the technique of separating the variables. Let's have a look at question number 1. The first step is to multiply both sides of the equation by dx to give me cos squared x dy is equal to y squared sine squared x dx. The next step is to divide both sides of the equation by cos squared x to give me dy is equal to y squared sine squared x over cos squared x dx. Now sine squared x over cos squared x is equivalent to tan squared x. We've got the y squared over here, dx over there, and dy over here. The next step is to divide both sides of the equation by y squared to give me 1 over y squared dy is equal to tan squared x dx. Now 1 over y squared is equivalent to y to the power minus 2 and we've got dy 
equal to tan squared x dx. To get rid of the differentials on both sides, we need to integrate both sides. So the integral of y to the power minus 2 dy is equal to the integral of tan squared x dx. Now the integral of y to the power minus 2 dy is minus y to the power minus 1 equal to the integral of tan squared x dx. What is that? Well, we know that using identity that tan squared x is equivalent to sec squared x minus 1. So the integral of tan squared x is just the integral of sec squared x minus 1. The integral of sec squared x is tan x minus the integral of 1 is x plus c. Now I can divide both sides of the equation by minus 1 to give me y to the power minus 1 is equivalent to minus tan x plus x minus c. y is equal to the reciprocal of this. So 1 over minus tan x plus x minus c. Let's have a look at question 2. Firstly, ladies and gents, we notice that on the right-hand side, the expression can be factorised. We have a common factor of y between these two terms. So we can take out the common factor y and write the following. x squared dy over dx is equal to y in bracket 1 plus x. Now, multiplying both sides by dx gives me x squared dy is equal to y in bracket 1 plus x dx. Dividing both sides by x squared gives me dy is equal to y in bracket 1 plus x over x squared dx. Dividing both sides by y gives me 1 over y dy is equal to 1 plus x over x squared dx. Now, to get rid of the differentials on both sides, we need to integrate both sides. So the integral of 1 over y dy is equal to the integral of 1 plus x over x squared dx. Now, I know that I can actually divide 1 and x by x squared, giving me 1 over x squared plus 1 over x. Integral dx, integral 1 over y dy. Now, 1 over x squared is equivalent to x to the power minus 2. The integral of 1 over y dy is ln mod y equal to the integral of x to the power minus 2 is minus x to the power minus 1 plus the integral of 1 over x is ln mod x plus the constant of integration c. Now, I can apply e's on both sides to give me e to the power ln mod y is equal e to the power minus x to the power minus 1 plus ln mod x plus c. Now e and ln cancel, giving me mod y is equal. I can actually split this into a product of three terms. e to the power minus x to the power minus 1 multiplied by e to the power ln mod x multiplied by e to the power c. Now mod of y, ladies and gents, is just y equal to e to the power minus x to the power minus 1. Um, e and ln over here cancel to give me mod x. And we've got e to the power c. Now mod x is just x, so I can write y equal uh, e to the power c, x e to the power minus x to the power minus 1. Now e to the power c is a constant, I can call it a. And I can rewrite the equation as y equal ax e to the power minus x to the power minus 1, where a is equal e to the power c. Therefore, the general solution to this differential equation in the form y equal f of x is y equal ax e to the power minus x to the power minus 1, where a is equal e to the power c. Here is an exam style question. Find the general solution to the differential equation e to the power x plus y dy over dx is equal to 2x plus x e to the power y, giving your answer in the form ln mod of g of y equal to f of x. Well, first of all, ladies and gents, I'm going to write the differential equation. So I have e to the power x plus y dy over dx is equal to 2x plus x e to the power y. 
I notice that e to the power x plus y can be rewritten as e to the power x multiplied by e to the power y. dy over dx is equal to, this expression can be factorised because we have a common factor between these two terms and that common factor is x. So I can take out x in bracket 2 plus e to the power y. The next step is to multiply both sides of this equation by dx to give me e to the power x multiplied by e to the power y dy is equal to x in bracket 2 plus e to the power y dx. The next step is to divide both sides of this equation by e to the power x, giving me e to the power y dy is equal to x over e to the power x in bracket 2 plus e to the power y dx. Now I can divide both sides by 2 plus e to the power y, giving me e to the power y over 2 plus e to the power y dy is equal to, I can rewrite this fraction as x e to the power minus x dx. To get rid of the differentials on both sides, I need to integrate both sides. So the integral of e to the power y over 2 plus e to the power y dy is equal to the integral of x e to the power minus x dx. Now, I need to think of a technique of integration that I must use to integrate this and to integrate this respectively. Let's have a look at this particular integral over here. Well, if I call the denominator f, if I differentiate f, I get e to the power y, which is my f dash. I've got the f dash in the numerator. So this particular fraction is of the form f dash over f, so I can use the reverse chain rule to integrate this. This particular integral can be integrated using integration by parts. I'm going to start off by integrating the left-hand side using the reverse chain rule. So, I need to try y equal ln mod of the denominator, 2 plus e to the power y. dy over dx is equal to e to the power y over 2 plus e to the power y. Ladies and gents, if I integrate this fraction, I get precisely ln mod of 2 plus e to the power y. So this integral is just ln mod 2 plus e to the power y. I can integrate this using integration by parts. The integration by parts formula is over here. u is ln, if not, x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal x dv over dx is equal to e to the power minus x. du over dx is equal to 1. v is obtained by integrating the dv over dx. So if I integrate e to the power minus x, ladies and gents, I get minus e to the power minus x. Now I can substitute these quantities into the integration by parts formula to obtain this particular integral. uv is minus x e to the power minus x minus the integral of v du over dx, which is minus e to the power minus x dx. I can take this a step further and write ln mod 2 plus e to the power y is equal to minus x e to the power minus x minus, in bracket, the integral of minus e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x plus c. I can now expand this bracket to give me ln mod 2 plus e to the power y is equal to minus x e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus x minus c. Therefore, the general solution to this differential equation in the form ln mod of g of y is equal to f of x is this one over here, where g of y is equal to 2 plus e to the power y. And f of x is just this expression over here. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.